Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan to this Jamaican and extended Caribbean and African family. Okay, now it's for today's video, we are about to do some wig review, okay? And not just your average wig, we're about to do some natural textured wig review. And the wigs that I'm about to review are under $40, sis. They are under $40. You guys always say, Chef, we need some affordable wigs. So I got you, okay sis, I got you. So the wig that we will be reviewing today is from Ultra and they are their Nisha Soft and Natural Lace Wig Collection. So I have two wigs that we will be reviewing. And first one is the Nisha 204. And this one is the Ginger Brown Color. And then the second wig is the Nisha 205 and this one is the honey brown color. So I chose these colors because I thought they would look really nice with my skin tone. So I like ginger and like a honey blonde because it like brings out that melanin. It emphasizes the melanin in my skin. You see how I got tongue tied, my lisp even more pronounced than normal because it's that good. You feel me? It's that good. So basically with these wigs, um, they are already pre-plucked for you. They are Swiss lace and the wigs are full volume. So they give you that super fresh out of the salon type of volume and look. The first one that I'm gonna be trying is the 204 and this is the ginger brown. So this is what the packaging looks like. And um, I'm going to be listing the retailers down below. Right now I'm seeing it at retail price for $37 currently on Sam's Beauty. So I'll leave a list of retail retailers that you can purchase your wigs from. Girl, I'm about to look like Faith Evans in this wig. Okay, honey, okay. So let me just give you guys a close up of the lace itself. So the lace is a medium brown type of color. And also if you want to like tint the lace to like customize it to match your own natural complexion, I have a video on how I created my own lace tint. So I'll leave that for you if you want to like tint the lace. But yeah, this is how the parting is looking. So I'm gonna leave the lace as is just to show you guys how you can wear it like straight out of the package. Also inside the wig, it has combs so that the hair can be secured. So this is how inside is looking. And it comes with the adjustable straps here to tighten it or to like adjust it to fit your head properly. I see the look, I see the look. So before I cut the lace, I just wanna see how it looks on first. And also you can use up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit on this wig. In terms of like flat ironing the hair, you don't wanna go above 400, okay? Since you, you don't wanna, you don't wanna ruin the texture of the hair. So you can definitely use a flat iron on it and um, you don't wanna go over 400. So I'm gonna do now is just make like a little, a little type of soup to the doop. Actually, you know, I like my little soup to the doop, you know what I'm saying? It gives it a little bit of natural look. Not everybody likes to add baby hairs and do, you know, soups and all of that. You don't have to do all of that, but I like doing it, so I'm going to do it because I like to like give it that look. And guys, as I said, like brushing the hair out, the natural yucky type texture that is happening with this wig right now, Girl, it's a wand. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the hair there and then I'm just gonna do the soup to do, do. Okay, girl, the soup. So to do this, I'm gonna use mousse, not edge control. Okay, girl, don't do that. Don't put, be putting edge control on your lace. Oh, 
Okay, now while I let the edges lay down for a bit, you know, try to slay them a little bit, I am going to recurl the curls just to show you guys how it works with some heat, okay? So I think I'm gonna like just get it a little bit straightened, but not all the way straight through, just a little bit more flat. Okay guys, now this is how our 204 Ginger Brown is looking. So as I said, all I did was do a slight flat ironing. You don't want to take out all the curls. So I just wanted it to look more like a natural blowout as opposed to like flat ironing the hair or taking out all the curls. So just to make it a little bit more, you know, uniform, but not really uniformed, messy, but not really messy. And I wanted to take out like take away some of like the wig look to it. We all know it's a wig, but you know, you still want it to look natural. Final step that I'm gonna add to this wig is that I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation powder on the party, just so that it could show a little bit more without having to pluck it. Cause a lot of people don't know how to pluck wig and you, uh, and you might end up like leaving a bald spot in the wig. So we don't want none of that. Okay girl, so we're gonna about to use some um, foundation powder. So we're gonna, Take a little bit of foundation powder here and then just put it, dab it. Okay, so you're not gonna just draw on it, you're gonna dab it on the party. So I'm focusing especially right here because at this point, this is where my wig cap is. So I'm just dabbing it right there where I have like the separation. And that's it. This is how our girl Ginger is looking. Okay, she looking like, um, you know, a little fresh blowout. She looking real cute. She looking real natural. She's giving me all type of vibe with the color on my skin tone, girl. You can't even front. Y'all feeling this color, aren't you? Y'all let me know how you feel about our girl Ginger because I am actually like super in love with it right now. Like I don't even want to take it off. To, to, to like try the other wig, but I'm still excited to try 205. Our girl Honey Blonde over here is still waiting for us to try on, okay? But we're gonna give Ginger her moment, okay? We are about to give Ginger her moment. I am so in love with this. Guys, now that we have tried ginger, it is time to move on to 205, and this is the honey blonde. So it, the packaging is the same, just obviously a different color. So this is how your packaging is gonna come. It's gonna have the mesh over the hair, you know, to keep the curls tight and together. And then you have this little foam thingy magic here that holds or keeps your lace in form. So again, the lace on this wig is also a medium brown type of lace. So I'm not gonna straighten this one. I think I'm gonna keep the curls as is. I'm probably gonna brush it out a little bit just to give it like a bigger look. Maybe we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, so again, it comes with the hooks on the inside to hold your wig in place. So there is, there is three combs on the inside to hold your wig in place on a uh, especially windy day, okay, so your wig will be intact. And then it comes with the adjustable straps also to make sure that your wig stays on. So before I cut the lace, I'm just gonna look how it looks on my head. Oh, and also I didn't even show you guys, but um, the way it comes with already pre-made baby hairs. Now you can customize that if you want to, or if you want to leave it as is, just to give you that look, you can further. So we're gonna put a little bit of foundation again on here, but first let's style it. Let's see 
what we're working with. Okay, now I don't know how I wanna do the curls. I do not wanna brush the curls up because I like the curls, but I still feel like I wanted to like have some, I don't know, some 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 uniformity to it. Is that is that a thing? I wanted to, to style it a bit, but I don't wanna brush it out. Okay, so we're just gonna finger, <laughs> we're gonna finger comb the curls a little bit. Okay, girl, this looks like a wand curl type of thing. Okay, now I'm not gonna do too much more over this side. Now for over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. And then I'm just gonna bring this into my face a bit. A lot of people don't like hair in their face. You don't have to do this. You could just put the hair back, but I want it to be my face a little bit, especially since it's like a side part. And this texture is is kinky, honey. And even though it's like a yucky texture, it's still super soft. So we're gonna fix the edges just a little bit. Let's see if I brush it down like so. We don't want it to look too edgy. Is that a thing? We don't want the edges to be like too extra. Cause then it's gonna take away from like the natural look at the party. Okay, now we are going to put some foundation on the parting so that it could be more visible and for it to look a little bit more natural. Now this is my final look for unit number two. Now this is the Nisha 205 as I said earlier and it is a honey brown. It is definitely giving me a 90s type of curl vibe. So as I said you can flat iron the hair if you want to but I didn't want to flat iron the hair. I love the curl that is in there. It's giving me this big Hollywood type glam. So I'm gonna just leave it as is just to show you guys how it's looking in its natural form. So let me know down below which wig you prefer and also I'll leave the link to the retailers down below. The texture on these wigs are just freaking amazing, especially for the price and how soft it is and how manageable it is. This These wigs are especially for like, if you're new to wearing wigs or you're a beginner or you're just not used to plucking and the whole application process if you're not really good with all of that these wigs are great for beginners so yeah that is all that i have for you guys today everything that you would want to know or links and all of that will be down below all the information on these units will be down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at Damn That's Chef, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Go on, big up in a stuff. Bye, guys. Mwah.